Israel kills the blonde, not only the colored Palestinians. Israel kills the toddlers, not only the young or the old. Israel killed the two-year-old Palestinian child Muhammad Haytham At-Tamimi of the Nabi Saleh village near Ramallah and injured his father, injured him twice. First, when the bullet that crushed the skull of his child entered into his shoulder, and the second, which is incurable, when he knew that he would never see the child he used to hug every day. The child Muhammad was enjoying his time with his dad in their own small village, which can't grow any bigger because of the Israeli settlements built on its land. Like his village, Muhammad was not allowed to grow as Israel picks any moment to end the life of any Palestinian child. Israel can't claim that the two-year-old toddler is a terrorist, just like what it always does to justify its crimes against the Palestinian freedom fighters and citizens in general. Muhammad Tamimi is not the first Palestinian child Israel kills this year. He is the 28th child killed by Israel since the start of 2023. Muhammad is not going to be the last child Israel kills as it continues its occupation of the Palestinian land and the Palestinian people won't be the last victim as the United States, Britain and other superpowers continue to provide all forms of support for the Israeli colonial regime to entrench its colonization of Palestine. Their support enables Israel to kill more Muhammads in occupied Palestine.